Most countries, when asked to construct a pavilion for the 2015 World Expo in Milan, did precisely that. However, Austria's approach has been somewhat different. Entering the Austrian Breathe Pavilion is like entering an Austrian forest. Cool, calm, refreshing. So with this pavilion, we not only recreated you know, the image of Austria, but in fact, actually, we unleashed the climate of an Austrian landscape or forest, um, which is very practical, actually, because here in Milan, it will turn out to be quite warm in the summer. And our guests, um, the people who visit the expo, can sit down and cool down within the atmosphere, the microclimate of an actual Austrian forest. The tranquility of this environment belies the fact that recreating an Austrian forest in Milan has been a challenging feat. Trees, plants, moss and soil were transported in and carefully positioned onto custom-built hillsides. All of this effort was not only to provide visitors with a sensory experience. The pavilion is a model for how urban architecture could be. The fresh air from the forest is channeled through air vents to the internal rooms of the pavilion. This ventilation system, as well as the other energy demands of the pavilion, will be met by renewable energy, namely solar power from this huge sun that's been constructed out of solar panels using a brand new type of photovoltaic cell. As the theme of this year's expo is feeding the planet energy for life, the pavilion also demonstrates the role forests play in providing clean air and as a source of nutritious organic food. The pavilion's restaurant serves dishes created using ingredients from Austria's forests, such as venison, mushrooms, honey and wild herbs. The role of forests in food security and nutrition is crucial as provider of food for millions of forest-dependent people, but very specially as provider of the firewood with which more than a third of humankind cooks today. Forests are also crucial as a carbon sink. In large, polluted cities, where the effects of climate change are often keenly felt, plants and trees could play an important role in delivering real improvements to the quality of people's lives. We have climate change, we have urban growth, and this triggers a lot of problems like loss of life quality or urban heat island phenomenon. And the key answer to all these problems is nature. It's basically put in plants as much as you can and try to make them work, and work efficient for the benefit of the people who live there. So this is what this pavilion shows, how it can be done. And so it's, it's basically a template that needs to be copied worldwide. The design of Vienna more than 100 years ago already incorporated green corridors. With almost half of Austria's land area covered by forest, forests play a key role in the nation's economy and its environment. The richness of our bi biodiversity takes place uh, particularly in the forests. Uh, forests are an important economic sector, but also an important uh, environment sector, from clean air, uh, CO2 sink, uh, uh, up to energy source, uh, uh, with renewable energy source, which is very important for our energy policy. This pavilion, with its forest climate machine, may seem futuristic for now. But that's no doubt how visitors to the 1893 Chicago World Fair felt about this strange new device called the telephone. Just as that marked a revolution for communication, so might this mark a new dawn for urban design.